Okay, uh, let's look at the limits of polynomial and uh, rational functions. All right. So here's a useful result. Uh, it says that uh, if function f of x is a polynomial function or a rational function, and also a is in the domain of the function, then limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. So you can just plug in the value and evaluate the function, right? So uh, let's look at this example, right? Limit of uh, 2x cubed over 5x plus 1. So this is a limit of a rational function as x approaches 2. And uh, you can see that the 2 does not make the denominator 0, so 2 is in the domain, right? So uh, let's, uh, let's just uh, use the limit properties to see if we can get the value. Then after that, we apply this result, right? So a uh, limit property. So if you have a fraction or a right, quotient, uh, we can just take the limit of the top numerator and the denominator separately. So you have a limit of uh, 2x cubed as uh, x approaches 2, right? Then we can just take the limit of the denominator. So limit of the quantity 5x plus 1 as uh, x approaches 2. All right, so this is equal to, all right, so since you have a constant multiple right here, 2, we can put it outside right here. So let's do that. So 2 is outside, then you just need to take the limit of uh, x squared as x approaches 2, right? Sorry, it's uh, x cubed, I meant, right? Over, right, so you have addition, so you have a limit of uh, 5x as uh, x approaches 2 uh, plus limit of constant uh, 1 as uh, x approaches 2. Right? And this is equal to, right? So we can squeeze the limit inside the cube, so it's going to be a 2 times quantity limit of uh, x as x approaches 2, raise it to the third power, right, over, right, since, uh, again, you have a constant multiple 5 can be placed uh, outside, so we have 5 times limit of uh, x as x approaches 2, right? Plus, right, limit of a constant 1 as x approaches 2 is the same constant 1. So this is going to be 1, right? Uh, so I'm going to go up here, alright, it's equal to, alright, so limit of x as x approaches 2 is 2, since x is approaching 2, so it's going to be 2 times 2 cubed over, alright, again, limit of x as x approaches 2 is 2, so it's a 5 times 2 plus 1, right, which is equal to, right, 2 times 2 cubed is 2 times 8, so that's 16 over uh, 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11, so 16 over 11 is the limit, right. So this is the method uh, that we use uh, limit properties and to get to the limit.
All right, so let's apply this uh, useful result. All right, it's going to take uh, much, uh, you know, fewer steps. All right, so uh, we can simply plug in x equals 2. So we have a 2 times 2 cubed over 5 times 2 plus 1, which is equal to right, 16 over 11, just like before. All right, so you can see that we can get the, um, the exactly the same value by just uh, plugging in x equals 2. All right, so we have the correct the limits here. All right, All right, but uh, this method doesn't always work. Uh, for example, if you uh, look at the uh, statement carefully, uh, here's a condition. A has to be in the domain of F. All right, what if A is not in the domain? All right, so here, X is approaching negative 3. Negative 3 is not in the domain because negative 3 makes the denominator equal to 0. All right. So, uh, you know, this does this uh, result doesn't apply to this one, right? Let's uh, go ahead and, uh, and plug in and see what happens, right? So we know that uh, the bottom guy right here, if you plug in uh, negative 3, as we said before, it's going to approach 0, right? What about the top? If you plug in x equals negative 3, negative 3 squared would be 9 minus 9, top actually approaches zero as well all right so what you can do is uh, we can actually factor out the numerator in this case and try to see if we can cancel out common factors all right so uh, a limit as x approaches negative three all right if you factor out the numerator you're going to get uh, quantity x plus three times quantity x minus 3 over uh, x plus 3, right? Now we can see that there's a common factor, so we can cancel uh, x minus 3, x minus 3, right? So what we, what we have is a limit of uh, as uh, x approaches uh, negative 3, and what's left is um, x minus 3, right? Then we plug in. So you're going to have x is negative 3. Then you subtract 3 from that. You will get negative 6, right? So if you get uh, 0 over 0 when you plug in, um, this form is called, uh, this guy is called in determinate form when you have uh, 0 over 0, right? So when you have indeterminate form, 0 over 0, then what you can do is uh, try to factor out so that, that we can cancel out the common factor. And once you get rid of all the common factors and you try to plug in, see if you can get the limit. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.